Hello guys, welcome to our new video. Today, Talent Battle is back with yet another amazing opportunity that is from Airbus. So this is an internship opportunity published by Airbus for 2024 and 2025 batch students. So the students, those who are in third year or fourth year of engineering can easily apply to this internship. So today in this video, we're going to check what is the eligibility criteria and what is the preferred qualifications required for this drive followed by a detailed registration process. So watch the video till the end so that you do not miss any important update. So without any further delay, let us start with the video now. So as soon as you click on the link, link will be uh, present in the description box. You, you can just easily click on this link. Uh, as soon as you click on this link, you will be landed to this Air Airbus official website okay so, and you can check the opportunity is mentioned over here so this is an internship opportunity location is mentioned that will be bangalore okay so if you can relocate to this location you can fill for this next data analyst intern is the job title so data analyst intern so what is this opportunity so the data analyst intern in airbus innovation center will work closely with all product owners and support the product by interpreting and analyzing data to extract insights for decision making. So particularly if you are interested for this field, you must go for this internship. Okay. So if you are interested in data analyzing or data analyst tools you are interested in, you must fill this internship. And Airbus is a very big brand. So you can easily rely on this internship. Okay. And now checking about your main responsibilities. So assist in collecting, cleaning and organizing large data sets from various sources. Conduct exploratory data analysis to identify patterns, trends and insights. So here are many uh, responsibilities. You can just go through these uh, uh, responsibilities one by one. Okay. And you must alter your resume accordingly because if they are uh, like hiring for these responsibilities, so your resume must exhibit these qualities uh, and must showcase these qualities. Okay. So before uh, applying for this internship, just alter your resume accordingly so that uh, it will increase your chances of getting selected. Now, second uh, is the uh, qualifications that is required. Okay, so students uh, of third or fourth year of engineering, third year bachelors, masters in computer science or related field can easily apply to this internship. Proficiency in programming languages such as Python, R or SQL can go for this internship. Familiarity with uh, data manipulation and visualization tools. So next, uh, this is also very important. Next is GitHub profile of projects developed. So you must have a GitHub profile. If you don't have, you must make it before applying for this internship. Okay. Next is participation in AI based challenges. Okay. So you must participate in those challenges. Experience or projects with computer vision and 3D vision will, uh, will be an added advantage. So if you have any kind of projects or any kind of experiences, so you must fill those things that will be counted as an uh, added advantage. Working knowledge of full stack programming is an advantage. So if you have any working knowledge, uh, if you've done any past internship, so you can just fill that uh, details here. Okay. Uh, where you exhibit these uh, knowledge like full stack programming. So it would be counted as an added advantage. Next, required skills in soft skills, they require interpersonal communication, strong analytical mindset, problem solving mindset, keen attention to detail, team player, creativity, adaptability, reliability, and a number of skills. Okay, you can just go through these skills and you must uh, read each and every skill before even applying. Okay, next, the company name again here it is mentioned. This is Airbus Group India Private Limited. And employment type is internship. So this is a internship employment. Okay. This is not a full-time employment. This is an internship. Experience level is student. So a student of third year or fourth year can easily participate in this internship. Next, by submitting your CV. So here it is written like if you submit this uh, CV, you say uh, like you uh, have you have given your consent, like you are agree on all the uh, things which you have mentioned in your CV and you are uh, you can easily share those things with Airbus so that they can easily evaluate your candidature. Okay. Uh, so next is uh, this is uh, and like giving a consent only you are just registering for this internship. There are no further information on this website about the 
further rounds or like what is going to happen how many rounds will be there or interviews so there is no such information present on the website so it is just like a screening round first your resume will get shortlisted and further communication will be carry forwarded on your emails only okay so let us now apply for this internship and uh, go through the live registration process okay so watch the video till the end now okay so now here is this apply button as you can see so just click on this apply button as soon as you click on this apply button you will get three options okay autofill with your resume apply manually use my last application or you can just directly apply with the linkedin okay so let us assume like you don't have any of this uh, four options you just follow this apply manually okay so we, you you are you are not like filling with the resume or you you don't have any last application okay and just click here and just click apply menu if you have if you want to apply with linkedin you can go with apply and uh, like apply with linkedin only okay so let us now click on this apply manually and wait for a few seconds uh, the website will get reload to a new page so website is uh, reloading as you can see it will take few seconds only okay so this you can see this is the new page which has opened and now here is sign in okay so let us assume you don't have any uh, like uh, account created so let's create one account okay so you can just create one account so easily account creation is very uh, like important okay so you can just click on this and create your account okay so let me just create your account uh, create my account and then i'll just get back to you okay so as you can see, I have filled my uh, email address, password and a uh, verify password. Okay. So I'll just click on this consent and just click on create account. And just save the password. Okay. So now the information will start. The form is now opened. Okay. So how did you hear about us? So you can just select here and you can just find out uh, here is option of YouTube. Okay. So just fill YouTube. Okay. Uh, have you already worked with Airbus? So fill no here. Next country, it is already set to India. Now it's coming like given name. Okay. So given name is basically your first name. So you just fill your first name uh, in the place of given name. And family name is your surname. Okay. Whichever is your surname, just fill your surname here. Okay. Now local names, you can just leave these columns as these are not necessary to be filled. Next, in this address line, you just fill your complete address. Okay, I'm just skipping it because it is not uh, like marked necessary, but it is necessary for you guys. So please uh, fill this address. Okay, next coming to email address. So here is the email ID and now coming to mobile number. So here mobile is selected already. Okay, and then country code is selected already. And here just you can fill your mobile number. Okay, so let me just fill my number. Okay, so I filled the number phone extension and then save and continue. So as soon as you click on the save and continue, the next page will open. So this is work experience. Okay, so if you have any work experience as we have mentioned earlier in this video, so if you have done any kind of internship, full stack internship, so you can just fill that kind of internships in this. Okay, otherwise you can just skip it. Next education. Okay, so will it is important to add your education skills. Okay, just click on add. Okay, and fill your university name. If your university name is there, then it is good for others. We can just click on others. Okay, so I'm just filling the others. So to check like what uh, so other option is there. Okay, so you don't need to worry if your university name is not there. Now coming to degree. So you can just check your bachelor's degree is here. You can just fill bachelor's and in the field of study, you can fill your field of study. So your stream will come here. Okay. So as I am filling computer science, so you can just fill your stream. Okay. So computer science is filled. Uh, next languages. So here you can add your uh, languages, like which languages you usually speak. Okay. So just click on add button and there you can uh, put as many as languages you want. Okay. So let us start with the English. So uh, let me just fill English. So you can check box here if you are fluent enough in this language. Now you can just rate yourself uh, from beginner to fluent negotiation level. Okay. In English. Okay. So you can just fill intermediate, beginner, advanced or fluent. So let's just click on each and everything. Okay. Reading skills, speaking skills, writing skills. Just fill everything. Okay. 
if you want to add any another language you can just go for add any another and uh, all the regional languages are also here okay so you don't need to worry hindi is also there and all the languages your regional languages are also here so you can just fill here i am fluent again and you can just mark yourself in this language as well okay so here they are just uh, checking your like basic skills okay they are not ex uh, they are not uh, they will not select you on basis of this particular thing but you can just fill it okay next is the skill set so this is a very important uh, column to be filled okay the skills which they have acquired for which they need you can just fill those particular skills here okay like they were requiring team uh, team player okay so you can just click team player and you can just go for it okay so team player then they require require python okay so you can just go with python so all your technical skills along with your interpersonal skills you can go and fill each and every skill so okay there is no criteria so fill as many as skills you want okay team player python programming okay uh, you can fill your languages like c++ java so there you will get options as well see java plus c programming okay c++ you can just fill it programming and coding problem solving so fill as many as skills you want okay so you can just fill those skills so i have filled uh, three skills for now you can add on and fill it uh, like easily you can add more and more skills next here just you, you need to drop down your cv okay so just go and uh, just drop down your cv over here okay just wait for two three minutes and here it is written successfully uploaded okay and here you can add if you have any further websites to be added added okay so if you have made your website or your resume is basically in the form of a website so you can just fill that websites over here next save and continue and now it is like a voluntary disclosure so here are some terms and conditions you can easily read uh, through okay and this is important to read okay so that you know like what is company all taking about and what is uh, like uh, how your profile will be handled so it is important to read okay so as soon as you read and you just need to click here on this checkbox so yes i have read and consent to the terms and conditions next save and continue and now you can just review your file okay like how what you failed so just review if you think any mistake you have made you can just easily go back and again edit your profile once again okay so see here is my skill sets and here is my resume websites are also and uh, yes i have given the consent as well so at last just click on the submit button okay so as soon as you click on the submit button you just need to wait for another few seconds and the website will get reloaded and yes so you can see here congratulations page has come and we have received your applications so here you can just uh, just check down uh, here is my applications and job title is in turn and application is received as soon as your application is received you will also get an email notification okay so you can just check through that email notification as well if your profile gets shortlisted you will easily get another round email as well okay and for another latest updates keep following talent battle okay and subscribe to our youtube channel we'll post all the job opportunities for off campus here on our youtube channel okay and if you want to connect with us you can easily connect with us through our instagram or whatsapp channels so you can get your roadmap built and you can get any kind of placement assistance you want so see you in another video thank you thanks for watching have a nice day